Have you been up to the Shire before? No, it's the first time. Do you guys mind if I record this walk? No. Walking around, awesome. I'm just trying to get some B-roll. This is one of my <laughs> non-pipe items. Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah, this one has an injury, so it's not sellable, but, you know, little well, ash, airships. Yeah, cool. Yeah, odd things. Someone was just telling me they watched him like, documentary or something on, like, glass blowers and some of the really ridiculously amazing pieces that oh, some yeah. of the people were making. You gotta see the stuff my niece is making. She's doing a thing, um, she's just getting an installation going for opening on the 16th and it's a bunch of glass balloons that are hanging. We can stand in the shade if you guys want. Oh, yeah. Or we can start walking even. Yeah, walking. Glass balloons that are hanging. And each glass balloon has a glass mouse tied, like you just tied in the <laughs> mouth. And then there's a bunch of other glass mites looking up at the ones that are flying away. Crazy. Yeah. So yeah, this is obviously the house. So like, some people live in the house, Neil and Emily and their baby Iris. It's an awesome thing. Um, there's a guest room. Pretty much like meals we have in the morning and in the evening. There's a, even a bell. So if you're working and you're like at a good stopping point, you can go in and eat. Yeah. So there's like prepared food. And you're always welcome to go in and just grab some food or... What's the antenna? Is that the ham radio? Or? Yeah, they have ham radio. Cool. Yeah, we can walk down. I'll just show you the back. They have a solar array that they installed. And so that just pulls in a lot of energy on sunny days like today. And then... Nice. Yeah, I'll show you where... Does that actually produce like excess energy at this point? Or? Well, it... I mean, it's, they try to capture the energy, obviously, and then we could use it for things that demand high energy, like the washing machine or showers. And then there's this generator right now, um, which is also utilized, you know, to supplement it. There's a greenhouse here, and it's, there's probably a bunch of, like, bugs in there, just a heads up. What is it? Oh, just a greenhouse. Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. But uh, a bunch of herbs and stuff in here. No, there's nothing in here like that right now. Nothing stingy. What are those? We'll just be in here like two seconds. They're just little pods. Oh, is she not coming? No. She if you just want to pull that close, we'll be we can leave there in like ten seconds. I'll just show you this room. Yeah, that's just little earth things to grow the seedlings in. So this is the basement of the house, obviously. So yeah, if you just want to shut that door, I'll just point this out. This is like a pantry where like some other food and stuff like that is kept so it can be brought up or just used. Nice. Did you guys set up a beehive yet? Uh, I guess they attempted it in years past but it never really took off. Yeah, There's a little library over cool. here. Over here, washing machine. And uh, the battery bank is in here. If you want to see. So you can see like how much it's pulling in. Wow. In 48.8, out 25.9. So it's building some up now, and I guess the plan is, that tamps yeah, I guess, watts or whatever. watts it says, oh no, it says volts, V, okay. so, um, look at these little bunnies, <laughs> hey little guys, oh, look at nice. them, yeah, they raise those for food also, yep, yeah, there's some bunnies kept I'll sh in another building, oh, yeah, I'll show you, skins. yeah, they did a session on tanning, so we just go out the same way we came, and connect back with Laura, uh, I knew I was going to do that as soon as I stopped looking at Oh, up. shit. Yeah, there are some Sorry, spiders dude. in here. You'll have to rebuild. Yeah. I love spiders. Dude, you should have seen the size of the spider we saw today in this pond. It was like this big, no joke. It was like oh, on yeah, the water. Oh, one of the ones that were flat, they flatten up against the rock? Uh, I don't know. It was, it, uh, it wasn't really on the land too often when I saw it, but. All right. Yeah, we were swimming once, and we, she's like, come over here, and I look, and there's like this spider, and he's just flattened on the rock, and he's just as big as you said. Oh, yeah. And uh, we just watched as another thing came over, and he just, as soon as he saw it, he like, huh. you know. Snatched it up. Wow. Well, so they used to have pigs back here, I guess. Like, that's why this ground is kind of tore up, but they started de-rocking, so just like collecting the big rocks, picking out the little rocks, and then... Uh, yeah, it depends what you get into. There's there's always stuff going on, but and then we'll come around with the tractor, fill that up, and then dump the rock somewhere, or use them for something. They've even talked about getting like a gravel crusher, and then 
you know, one idea is to put a garden here and down here. And I guess they just bought some of this like four foot tall netting to keep animals out and stuff like that. Yeah. So should be a good, good investment. But here's a cat. Yeah, yeah, wake up. Yeah, wake up, come in here, have a quick little sit down meeting, like priorities and stuff, and, and figure out feeding. Sometimes it's just grain that we feed out, and sometimes it's slop, so it's just food that we have to sort of like assemble together and stir up, and it's just a little more of a process. So, oh yeah, it's awesome, man. We, we can walk down that for a sec. What's up, Ella? Oh, wow. Is that its name? It's a new name? Is it friendly? Jumbo Frog. What's up, brother? It looks pretty looks pretty chill. Good to see you, brother. Look at his... Look at it behind his eyes. That's interesting. I need water so we won't die. Well, I'm not sure where to point you. There's probably some water somewhere. I know there's a pond not too far from here. There's a pond down this way. Yeah, that's where Megan did. Oh. Uh, she wants me to put him back. Oh, I, we can walk that direction. I can put him back if you want. Okay, well, don't uh, don't let him die. So this is the cabin we started at Bardo Fest. And there'll be a door here, a window there, a window there, and then like a ship's ladder, and then a loft or a little storage area. I'll show you a couple. See, there's an RV there. One guy, Jeff, lives there. Nice. He might move in to here, I think, but... Yeah, I can show you. I mean, this essentially just goes down this this granite to this pond where we like today. I swam in there for the first time. Where is the pond? Yeah, and then we just come back up, or we can. Oh, we can go check out the pond. Cool, man. Yeah, it's a pretty. So yeah, the internet comes from like a guy who lives across the valley. They just beam it over, I guess. They align it with a green laser. Um, <laughs> if you make it, I mean, like some people live here, you know, like just do stuff solely at, for Bardo and some people do stuff for Bardo and for like other things or they work off the property somewhere. So, I mean, if you needed time on the internet and it was a priority for you, when I was first here, uh, it, the internet was out, was out pretty much. So it wasn't working at the time. Something with the calibration, I think, so. But if you really need it, you could roll in a new port or something. That's one thing I've thought about doing, like continue to work on cop lock kind of stuff. Oh, you do cop lock? Yeah, so continue to work on that a little bit, but roll in a new port. I've been on, yeah, I've been on some of them. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good crew. We're going to have a... I kind of think it'd be nice just to work on more sort of strike the root videos and with existing content and stuff like that. What's up, Megan? So yeah, this is the pond. Hello. So we've jumped off here. Hi. So Buddy and Laura, this is Megan. There's a yeah. spider right and there. What did you say to you? Megan. 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 Yep. I have really bad ears. So. Oh, right on. Yeah. So there's a little rope over there we can pull ourselves up, like walk up that rock and just pull ourselves up with a rope, like 50 oh, okay. feet away. What is this thing, just deep or? Yeah, it's pretty deep. It's not bad. I guess it's probably 12 feet in the middle and 8 feet out here. Okay. That's what I was told and it seems to be true. I think the green pond just might be deeper. The which pond? Which one? Is, which one's that? By the cabins? Yeah. That's called the green pond? That's what I'm calling it. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's definitely, unless it's super deep, a lot less volume of water. But. Yeah. Yeah, we went, uh, we used to go on swimmingholes.org. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. We just found a place down on the, near the border of Massachusetts. It's like about like this, uh -huh. but it used to be a quarry. Cool. So it's literally straight down 50 feet yeah like there's no beach yeah that's awesome and it's really cold which was good when it was like 98 degrees yeah 
you know, and, uh, you know, there was, like, a, a few steps where you could get up easily enough, but, like, you know, just, this reminds me of it. Cool. I have an associate of mine, so I'll always be, like, yeah. saying stuff That's like cool. that. That's cool. Well, it sounds know. like a good experience, so it's a good... I know, Ella just the same Oh, jeez. Yeah, she walks in, it's like, oh, my God, it doesn't pay Oh, what is that thing just on by It's just there? resting and okay, floating. Okay. So it's movable. I'd probably make it sink right into like the water. <laughs> yeah. I guess it has a list too or something. But I guess it has a list. Like someone said the right side is maybe not as stable. I'm not sure <laughs> why that would be. But. No, not nearly stable. But yeah, I can go show you the rest of the property yeah. if you guys want. I'm just walking them around. Buddy's thinking about spending some time here. Ah, so. Potentially. <laughs> Megan and her family have been here. The folks that I was talking yeah. to when you drove by. Yeah. They've been here for since like a week before Bardo Fest. Cool. From Michigan. So. You're gonna head out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his, uh, his cousin Jay's got diabetes you know so it's kind of tough for him to get around the terrain and, and stuff yeah. so they're gonna go they're gonna stay in the shire but i think head over to the shire that's good yeah cool. well yeah the shire like new hampshire i guess but it's wherever else that goes not constrained by some political boundary so I be checking myself to check that I've not had it yet, but I will. Yeah, you may as well. Payback. Payback, come here. <laughs> See the dog? It's all good. It's all good. What's up, guys? Hey. What's up? What's up? Hi. This is Buddy and Laura. Buddy. This is Paul, oh, nice Denise, nice and that's, nice that's nice Ella, hey, Megan's sister. Hey. What's up, Karma? Hey. <laughs> So how'd you first hear about Bardo? Um, I posted on the Free Stater site. Like on a forum? For somewhere to nice. slow glass for a couple of weeks. Nice. And they were like, oh, Bardo, fine. You should check out this place. And I posted a few things back and forth. Nice. I think with Jody. Is the one who was the answer? Yep, probably. Yeah. So lucky. Lucky he'll bark at everybody because he doesn't see too well, I guess. Yeah. So. We were introduced fairly <laughs> quickly. Early on. What's up, Curtis? You jump in there today? Yeah, I did, man. After feeding, it was... I couldn't even... I jumped in, it was so cold, I couldn't even finish a sentence. I was like, it's so cold! You know, I'm like... <laughs> you got to get right back out. Yeah, I was like, oh. And then when I got out, it was interesting feeling like my skin because it was went from super cold to like like 90 out or whatever it is to the 85 and humid. So it was like it just like soaked back so in. Yeah. Wet hands under a hand drag. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we can just this is a littler path and it's pretty flatter elevation. But just to see these little cabins that are completed. What's up, Jay? Hey, Good man. We'll oh yeah, this is. Did you guys meet yet? Huh? Did you guys no, meet yet? No. This is Paul. <laughs> this is Paul and Denise's cousin, or Paul's cousin, Hi. Jay. Hey, how you doing? I'm Buddy. Hi. This is Buddy and Laura. <laughs> yeah. Just giving a quick walk around tour. <sighs> See what's up. Yeah. yeah. Well, there used to be another structure here, and it burnt. A couple years ago, I guess. So, definitely a learning lesson. So, yeah, there's a the house again just to make sure you guys are oriented. But, yeah, there's a guy living here for a bit named Nick. And he's, I guess, spearheaded the building of these three cabins over here. So, they each have a little different structure. Yeah, they're kind of cool. I think it was a potential uh, slip and slide one day, but pr probably didn't feel too comfortable. Two hundred and ten. 
So like when you guys turned off a 10 on, on the forehand, yeah. and then on the right you passed one sort of like dwelling on the right side of the, on right after you got on forehand. Like the, the Bardo property starts like right after that and comes all the way back here and then. Right after that trailer up there? Uh, if you continue up that hill, there's like an entrance on the right for the, where the sawmill currently is, and then past that there's another entrance where the fest is held, and that's and the property stops right after that. I like this place. So yeah, they call this one the tree house because of the foundation. They just it? Uh, no, I don't know when they finished it, but Adam had been living there. I don't think you've met him yet, and then uh, Gabby is living there currently. So cool. yeah, it is pretty cool. <laughs> Now how's that going to be in the winter, like with just plastic and boards? Like well, that? that'll definitely, I would say, it's definitely worth the time investment to buttress that up a little better to get better insulation. But I think, uh, I think there's pieces on the inside, you know. Oh, okay. That would be my guess. No, there's not. Weird. Well, <laughs> they do have uh, wood stoves in each of them, so that's kind of what caused the other one, I think, to burn, like the neck out or whatever was kind of messed up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A little, uh, I don't know, Adam had, a, I think, his deer there for his archery stuff. Sweet. Yeah. In this cabin, a girl named Carrie lives, and she takes care of the rabbits. Ooh. Carrie. Carrie. Yep. Don't forget, I said about my hearing, that's why I okay. have you repeat. Sure. So sorry to be a pain. No, I should try to remember that. <laughs> I love the fact they build all the cabins up on stuff. Yeah, that's so like a rock house. It's pretty cool. Is there a reason for that, that they decide to do that? Or? I just, I think, I'm not sure. Nick probably just wanted to try how new stuff. How safe is it, like, in a heavy wind? It hasn't moved yet, but who knows. Cool. I would assume they uh, drilled down into these and, like, put a knot, like, a, a dowel in there. Yeah. yeah. When we did the footings for the other cabin, we had, like, a, a threaded uh, post up in the middle. So then on that real big, like, tree we had as the foundation choice, we drilled a hole in it and set that in there to, yeah. to tie it down a little better. Sweet. But, yeah, so Carrie, she she's usually she works at Dartmouth Hospital, so she's off site most of the day usually. So a lot of people actually have uh, some, side jobs. some people do, yeah. Uh, this is where Curtis lives, Curtis and Robin, and that one has like a loft and ship's ladder so you can go stay out there, store stuff. Cool. We built this water tower. <laughs> we built this water tower with the intention <clears throat> intention of pumping water from this pond here up to this and then feeding it out to this pen area where you can walk to to uh, essentially automate the watering, watering process of the, the pigs and stuff. Yeah. But we haven't yet gotten the, some of the pieces needed for this. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, it, I know what you're talking about, yeah. Oh, you know the whole yeah, we thought about making one of those and doing it as like a donation thing for Cop Lock, making one of those tractors, and we estimated it might be about, you know, I don't know, 12 yeah. grand or something, but. So anyway, um, that, area, that area over there that's sort of like flagged off, that's generally just called the wedding field. That's where Neil and Emily got married. So, what? Neil and Emily got married. Oh, that's so, nice. So yeah, but they they were trying to park cars there and stuff. And this is the pen area right now where we have a lot of the pigs and whatnot. They stay outside. Sorry. They stay outside. Oh yeah, and the chickens and ducks, as you probably saw, are free range. Or whatever. They just they walk I around. I I ran any over. Real bad. Yeah, I think they're pretty uh, apt at recognizing and staying out of the way but so these guys we feed twice a day in the morning and uh, in the evening and we electric fence? Cool. yep yeah there's two lines 
You see, well, on this one, yeah, there's two there. There's one on the gate. But, Do you have different kinds of pigs? Or? Well, they're at different stages, essentially. So these are still like, um, you know, they're just eating food and whatnot. There's some sows around there. Some guy, you know, just trying to build up to certain weights that are desired. There's a bunch of piglets. All those little white things are called calf hutches. And that's where the sows go in and like have the piglets and um right right now we you know we separated some of the piglets and they're getting water sorry. oh sorry man i should give you a heads up no that's all right i was looking around we usually um so every you know groups of pigs they have these black bowls we just fill water in there and um so that the idea with the water towers it would automate that it would send out a, a line yeah. and put a so you just carry buckets? Well, we uh, load them on, on the uh, trailer, attach that to a tractor, and we drive a tractor in through here. And then we just park here, we offload and get all those pigs. And then we st start it up, move down here and get all these pigs. Yeah, so here's a pig. They're pretty chill. These guys are pretty either chill or timid out here. Now, so, what are you rooting for? I don't know, just see if there's any more food. We either give them grain, like buckets of grain, or give them slop. Or he might just be getting cooler. Here. Yeah. So when I first came here, they were still like cutting down some trees, and we were uh, running the chipper out here. The chipper's attached, you know, just shoots the felled trees into a truck, and that gets used somewhere. You see some stacks of chipping still around, but uh, then we just sort of what do you just, uh, started hit, pounding these T posts down and like putting the fencing up and, and then moving pigs over, which is like. You just take like a bucket of grain and shake it and they sort of follow you and you sort of try to get them into pens that way. Some of them are a little more reluctant, but <laughs> but yeah, and you can see uh, past... So some of them come out of the pen, some of them don't, like that one that just walked by us, he wasn't in a pen. Yeah, some of them, I mean, they have a bunch of pigs on the, on the property, so if, if like, you know, there might be like a couple percent out of the pens, you know, it's not... So you guys don't freak out if that happens? Like you're no, it's, I mean... If it's not, yeah, if it's not like, uh, you see like the, the ox is on the left, that's trip. Nice. And, and then on the right, that's the bull, that's red. But if like red got out, then yeah, we'd probably have more of an issue. Uh, is he a Scottish Highland? <laughs> I think that's correct. Wow. Yeah, they're going to, I think, get a, like a lady one and try to what do they do with those have guys? little guys. Well, the ox they inherited with the property, but the bull they got with the intention to, you know, ra to raise, you know, to mate and have meat, I guess. So, see what happens. I mean, is an ox, is it for food or is it just... Um, the ox they just inherited, so they're just going to have it around probably until it's not around. I think they actually inherited two, and one of them passed, you know, like a year ago maybe, one or two years ago. Yeah, watch where you're stepping. There's bombs yeah. everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you can see the tractor tracks we just drive through here. Look at these little guys. <laughs> They're really timid, you know, like haven't had much yeah, interaction with people. Hi, little one. Yeah. And there'll be some probably some of the smaller ones out here and there. Is that their mom over there? Um I don't know. There's probably a collection of piglets in there. She's probably just thir like hungry and thirsty. Dude, when it's feeding time, man, they're like, you'd think someone was getting like some crit, you know, they're like, rah, rah, like so noisy. It's ridiculous, yeah, how much noise comes out of one pig. Yeah. So yeah, these are all like, there's sows in here with like little piglets and stuff. And we bring the tractor around that way, sort of the back of this, right now, just because this area is still pretty wet. But they're talking about, you know, there's always... How old are these piglets here? Um, you know, I honestly can't say oh, with any... So they like, a, like, I don't know, a week or something? I don't know. A couple weeks. 
That's just a week? Wow. I don't know. I have no clue. Honestly. <laughs> I'm a city kid, so I have no clue. I, I'm like... Gabby's like the you know, most, uh, I, I, I don't know, like, uh, has tacit knowledge about pig-related questions or Adam or Neil or whoever else, but... Yeah. Yeah, I grew up in the project in the city, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I hear you. I grew you. up with cops that you would have loved to have found. Oh, man. I don't like feeling, I don't even like, I don't like seeing people treat each other bad, so I'd like to one day not have to film anybody, yeah, you know? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, okay, cool. You would have loved to have caught them in the act. I see. And there's some goats over here, if you want to check them out. Whatever. Goats. Oh, okay. There are some other goats up there we, we'll see too, but these are just like, uh, over there there's only three goats, and the idea with the goats too is to raise them for meat. So, I just today created a Bardo YouTube channel for raw video, so I started to upload like a goat birth, and then like I guess um, in February. Yeah, what's up guys? They're pretty chill. Now, are they also raised for food? Or? Yep, yep. Is that just the way she's made? they're made, or they look that skinny? Like, see how they have their sides are all caved? Oh yeah. Yeah, sort of. I don't know. I mean, you can see some of the other ones, I guess. Hello. Yeah, they're pretty chill. <laughs> there is a little goat that uh, was smaller than the rest, and Gabby sort of took it under her wing, and it became known as, like, G or GG, Gabby's goat. Nice. And it was in the house for a little while when it was little, little and stuff, but then it started eating stuff, so. Yeah, they, they're good at that. So if you see a little goat that's going like, man, man, it sounds like a kid, like, help me, mom. Like, that's, that's that goat just acclimating, I guess. But it's alive, so it's good. What's that board over there, the uh, general layout of the farm? Yeah, that was used for uh, Bardo Fest. Yeah. Joe made that. It's got like a, each of those items is magnetic, so it can move around and be used next year. Oh, sweet. Yeah. But generally, the way Bardo Fest worked this year is, some people parked here, and then there's a there's a trail just through here that goes back to the sawmill and back to the uh, Bardo event area. Like if you guys would have continued up that road, those turns to the right I, I was mentioning. Do you want to look at that to get oriented, or? No. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. So they used to. Yeah. This area used to have pigs, and this is where the ox were, I think, when they got this property. I just started trying to de-rock it the other day. So there's like piles of rocks. What's your tactic for that? Digging with the shovel or digging with the tractor? Uh, well, this, is, this has been my best ally thus far, but the blade now bends right here, which sucks because I don't have as much leverage anymore. But I pretty much just leverage up rocks and then either roll them or carry them or throw them, depending on their size, and into piles, and then we'll come through with the tractor. But I try, and then we're also taking this fence down, and we might use it for something. Like, so what would, was this a, the pig area? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. There was like fences up, t posts, those calf hutches, just like we saw back there. Yeah. So that was like. So that's a, why I asked because I saw those two things. Uh huh. Yeah, and there were some behind the house, and some like down the road. So this kind of just cent centralized all the pigs in one place. This recent move. And where's the machine shop? Uh, well, it's. It's that building where, at the top of the driveway, like to the left of y'all's car. Yeah. Yeah, the big, big structure is the garage, sort of, where tools are. And then on the left, there's another, like, lean-to structure that's, like, more of a woodworking sh place. What's up, ducks? In here, there's ducks. So, some yep, so like every day when feeding's done, someone will go around and collect eggs and try to, you know, get a bunch of chicken eggs and maybe quail and or duck eggs. And then we, uh, those get set aside and then cleaned once a week and then what sold, kind of sold to a couple of restaurants. What's up, Jeff? What kind of duck is taking a bath right now? I don't know. Jeff might know. The place where I was staying... <laughs> I ended up having to come to home before I got 
Huh. The guy oh really? Well, they might take ducks. I mean, they essentially the same thing. Raise them. Yeah, yeah. Well, I found a kind of cool place. It's found down in Norton, I guess. My niece found, and uh, she said that the night they brought the ducks in, they had basically hopped out of their little enclosure, went down to the pond, and they pretty much live in the pond. <laughs> nice. But that's a nice, interesting story too. So just so you know, what's in here? This is just the hay barn. So. Right now, there's not much hay in there. We're getting some more, but there's a bunch of the there's a bunch of bedding in there. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, we collect eggs from in the back of the hay barn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And here's a, like a tractor shed. So we have, you know, like some T posts and then like the hammer and some other things. This is like uh, to de feather a chickens and uh, scald a pig and. Stuff like that. I'll try to get this dude out of here. What's up, brother? No, these guys like sneaking in and like making homes or seeing if there's food or something. <laughs> but I try to especially keep on the tractor shed because it's kind of cramped in there already. And there's like rabbits back here. You can check out if you want. Uh, <laughs> pretty often. What's up, buddy? So yeah, they just hang out here, and there's some back here too, in the back of the duck pen. I think that's probably a good idea to just have another layer of protection for them. Yeah. You guys have issues with predators at all? Or? There's been a weasel that's hit some chicks in this barn over here. We'll walk into, but besides that, um, there hasn't been any issues since that I'm aware of. Yeah. When that happens, do they like try to get rid of it? Or? Well, when it happened the first time, I know they tried to like go around and seal up, check for any holes and stuff like that. But. So I got my truck parked down there, just backed into that little cove, sort of, and I just crashed in my truck. But uh, that little structure on the right is a sugar shack. Oh, so you just sleep right in the truck? Yeah. See if I could get my car up here. I could do that. I have a Subaru Forester. Nice man. But yeah. It that... doesn't. Well, it runs, but uh -huh. it needs something to keep the engine free. Well, Ashley and Indra are, are like mechanics. You know, they got some good skills. So, but yeah. So some of the chickens live there and lay eggs and all these various little structures and stuff. This is the barn. So we, this is where we feed grain and slop out of. We. Right. Or something up here. We fill all those up. Yeah. We got. In the morning, you fill all those up and mm -hmm. then bring we, them along. We got a hose. We hose them up, okay. and then, and then we, we, we either bring gun, yeah, uh, grain. There's grain over there, and there's vegetables. We'll feed out vegetables. We'll feed out like fruit and certain things to like the meat pigs that are about to get slaughtered because it makes them have a better taste and it's consistent with the grain yeah this is just still perfectly fine right right that is ridiculous right what's up brother absolutely ridiculous yeah this yeah this isn't uh what's up Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah, i was uh to be chill. a pizza maker in boston too and I mean, at the end of the night, we would gather all the pizzas and yeah. go out right on Copley, yeah. right on Boylston Street, and just hand them out to whoever's around, homeless nice. mostly. Nice. And now, now they can't do it because someone sued. One day, someone sued. When they it's ridiculous. Food, you know? It's ridiculous. Well, I hope people keep doing it because then it won't matter what those other well, folks say. Yeah. Uh, Let me get these chicken. You want to just uh, walk this way? You want to walk around this way, and we'll just get these chickens out of here. Like, oh, they'll, they'll just funnel this way. You're going out, brothers. Here we go. No, Thanks. Don't stop. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you, sir. An outlier? All right. I can snatch them up. I'll just, if you, we can shut this door, or vice versa. Or if you want to chase them this way. <laughs> oh, and there's one over here, too. This guy? There's... Yeah. 
Oh yeah, there's a couple over here too. Here, there's a couple that way, so if you want to do the same maneuver, we'll get these guys. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. <laughs> there we go. Keep going. Cool. Good stuff. Yep, yep, we're heading back up that way. Yep. <laughs> you like this? We're going the wrong direction for traffic, so when we're going back. You guys like that? Huh? That's custom Bardo right there. Oh, that... nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a hauler. It's a, it's a worker. Uh, what I was going to ask. Yeah. Um, in terms of, all right. So the store that I sell my stuff at is the Magic Mushroom across the river in Escotney, Vermont. If I come up here, she'll need to take her car back. Like, what's my chances of getting someone to drive me over? to a Scotney if I give him gas money and what, what not, like... How far is it? Uh, let's see. I mean, I was... Newport is down here? Yeah. Newport, Claremont, uh -huh. across the river. Uh -huh. Literally, right Oh, there. I'm sure, yeah. There, that should so. be an issue, yeah. And someone might be going that way anyway. There's no use making this stuff if I can't sell it. Right. So, like, at least once a week or once every couple of weeks, I'd want to do that. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure that'd be doable. Interesting. Nice, dude. You guys meet Neil yet? Huh? You guys meet Neil yet? Uh, no, he was. He lives um, here. Huh? I said he lives. I think he's over here. Maybe just say what's up before you roll out. Yeah. We yeah we built four of these. They just got that welder from Bilbury. Yeah. Is that, is the outhouse, is the, uh... It's not a place there, but uh, it's okay. What's up? I just want to introduce y'all to Buddy and Laura. Buddy plans to come back on the 15th. Uh, make sure y'all know each other. This is Hi. Laura. I'm Neil. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. This is Laura. Neil. Jeff. Nice and to meet you. Andra. Huh? Andra. Andra. Cool. Yeah. Who's bike? Everybody's. Neil's. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, it's so awesome. No, that that's like my favorite bike. 